If I look happy, it's because I am. I'm back to fish in one of my most productive spots. I haven't been able to fish here for about a year because the water levels were so high. You couldn't get near the water, you couldn't get near the canal itself, and even if you could, all the fish were out in the, in the grass beds. Well, now the water levels have dropped, the fish are back in the canal, and they're biting again. I was able to get a bunch of them on a trick worm. Check it out. I'm gonna fish down a little south now. This is a good spot. I have a lot of water to fish south. I have a lot of water to fish north. As far as positions on this canal go, it's, it's one of the easier ones to fish. I just worked this trick worm nice and slow. There's something. There we go. Ha ha ha. Finally. Okay. Oh man, that's nice. Trick worm pays off. <laughs> Come on, buddy. There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay. This is what we're looking for. This canal, when, when the fish are biting, when we're catching them here, we very rarely get them smaller than 17 inches. They're usually nice, big, big bass. And the thing I like about this spot is, is I can walk right up to the edge of the water and fish. I, uh, a lot of the other spots I'm casting up over trees and I gotta navigate through bushes, but this spot's uh, a good spot. So, okay, trick worm. Let's take a few more casts, get a few more of these guys. There's something. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, that makes two bass. As I always do when I'm switching to a topwater type fishing, I have to reset my mentality and remember that if I get the strike, <gasps> okay, <laughs> he's nowhere near me, but a gator just jumped out after my frog. <laughs> <laughs> and a little fish just hit it. But man, that just scared the crap out of me. All right, if he's there, there ain't gonna be uh, a chance to fish here because he's gonna go after my frog every time I throw it. So let's move to a new spot. <laughs> man, that gator really startled me. <laughs> I'm not uh, I'm not afraid of gators per se. I mean, I, I don't mind being around them. In fact, there's a gator just down there across the canal, but uh, I didn't see that guy, and when I pulled my frog across the lilies, he came out of nowhere and lunged at it and just scared the crap out of me. And uh, one thing I know about fishing this, this body of water and fishing around these alligators, once they see your top water, once it's on their radar, they're not going to give up. They're going to keep trying to get it. They think it's food. And I ain't here to catch gators. I'm here to catch bass. So I came to a new spot. I'm going to throw this top water a little bit, see if I can get a top water bite before the sun goes down. All right, sun's touching the, the horizon. My fishing's done for the night. I'm gonna make this my last cast. Was able to come out and get 90 minutes fishing in. Was able to discover that one of my favorite fishing spots is actually fishable again and productive again. Caught a couple of fish, which was great, but since I didn't spend much time, I didn't have a heck of a lot to show you. I'll leave you with this excellent recipe for avocado chicken salad. Give it a try. Let me know if you liked it. We'll see you next time. Man, people really liked my quickamole recipe. They liked it so much, they said, Tom, give us another recipe. So today I'm gonna show you how to make my chicken avocado salad. All you need is a chicken breast, some avocados, and a nice, sharp machete. Step one, take your chicken breast, put it on a cutting board, and slice with your machete. Step two, align your chicken breast slices 
and now cut in the opposite direction to form cubes. Place in a bowl for later. Now you take your avocados, I've already pre-cut these, and you smoosh them in with the chicken. I like to use my hands to mash up the avocado in with the chicken cubes because I can feel, I want to mash a lot up so there's a nice paste for the, for the cubes to sit in, but I also like to leave chunks of avocado. Now that my mixture is the consistency I'm looking for, I can add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Maybe a touch more salt. And some garlic powder to taste. Now you can take a spoon and mix all the ingredients together. And your chicken avocado salad is ready to serve. Take a nice plate, lay down some garnish. If you have an ice cream scooper, that's the best way to serve this. I don't have one, so I'm just going to use a regular spoon. And here you have a beautiful chicken avocado salad. I see you. Thank you.